change, this is Jay every day. I never change, I never change, this is Jay every day. I never change, this is Jay. <laughs> well, let me take my jacket off. This is it's kind of warm in here. I was gonna do a video outside because it's kind of nice. It's a little gloomy, but the sun's out here and there in spots, but it is super, super windy. And I don't have like a, like a filter for the microphone on this camera. So it was irrelevant for me to try to make a, a video outside. Check out this hat I bought today. So this is a San Francisco Giants hat. As you can see, it's not the natural black and orange colors that they wear. But the reason why I like this is because it has the, where is it? Here it is the Rock Nation logo, check that out. Oh snap, I have no idea why Rock Nation decided to make the Giants hat one of the, one of, I guess one of the teams to carry the logo, but I'm glad they did, cause I'm from here and I'm a huge Giants fan and this is freaking perfect. Comes with a pen too. Where's the pen? Let me go get the pen. Check it out. Sick, so sick. Sick, right? Check it out. Zoom in. Something. Do it. <laughs> Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. So this has um, chard. It has spinach, pear, orange, lime, and ginger. It's really good. Let's get to it. So let's talk about the Black Royal Ones. What's there to say? It's a huge release. Um, Really happy I got a pair. Uh, I have a pair of the black, red, black and red ones that came out last year. I have this pair of the black royal ones. I have a pair of the yin yang white pair with the black swoosh. I have a pair of the black and red 2013 ones. I have a pair of the Cyber Monday ones. I mean, you can't ever go wrong with black or with Jordan ones, can't ever. I wanna talk a little bit about the process of uh, someone like myself who's a shoe fanatic or a sneakerhead, whatever you want to call it, uh, the process of us uh, getting a shoe that's a general release. Oh, that'd be a Huh? That'd be a No, <laughs> camera. Oh, camera. Si, no, that was in video. Oh, that's in the video? Si. That was my grandpa. Uh, raffles. What does that mean when it comes to sneakers? So now, Foot Locker, most Foot Lockers, House of Hoops, uh, all have an app. Let's say the sneaker releases tomorrow. So let's say this week, today is Friday, tomorrow Saturday. Let's say this week, between the hours of 10 and six, Monday and Tuesday. On the app, Foot Locker app, you have to uh, basically choose the three nearest stores near you and choose your size, choose your name, sign up all the uh, information, put that information, and then they put you in a raffle or in this big, you know, app hat basically this big app hat and come friday or whenever the countdown is done because there's a countdown come friday usually uh they say whether or not um they picked your name out of the app hat i guess you could say foot locker foot action ten sports east bay all have an app and then they pick the three nearest stores and you do that so uh basically the raffle just means the raffling system means that you basically win a spot in line to buy the shoe you don't actually win the shoe. People always like, you don't actually win anything? Technically, no. You just win a spot to get the shoe. Let's run that again. So Foot Locker has an app. Chance Sports has an app. Uh, Foot Action has an app. East Bay has an app. Shoe Palace, um, they still have the ticket system where you go, you put your name in, you go to, the photo, you have to go to the physical store and put your name in. And then Chic has like a app, I mean, has a code. You go online, you go on the website, you put the code in and then blah, blah, blah. Um, I personally, and this is just me. I don't ever really try for shoe boutiques like Dark Side Initiative or Bape or, or I mean Bape or um, what are the ones? Bows and Arrows and Berkeley or any places like that because they usually or they rarely carry size 14. It's like Ultra Boosts and EQTs, I just don't even bother with because like if they don't make a general release, it's impossible for me to get one. And that's okay. Everyone else could buy Ultra Boosts and EQTs. I'm gonna go stand over here and buy my Jordans. I uh, hope that wasn't too confusing. I don't wanna talk anymore because that's boring. I think I'm gonna go outside and do an unboxing and, um, and on foot. So let's do it.
walk down any alley in the mission and you'll find incredible, incredible art. I mean, this is pretty much 24th in, in mission. It's like a block from it. And the art here is crazy good. It's like, I know it's like tagging or whatever. So it's like not necessarily considered art. This stuff is like legit, like check this out. It's awesome, I think it's awesome. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. I literally come down here and just walk down the street and just check out the art. There's always something new. All right, let's open these shoes, put these, put these shoes on. Not much to say that you don't already know. This is a classic silhouette, the Jordan 1. This is the Black and Royal 1 uh, compared to the Black and Red that released last year. It's pretty much the same shoe other than the color. All the blue pops so nice on this on this shoe. The Royal in pictures didn't look as good as it looks either here in this video. I don't know if this video does justice or in person. I'm gonna tell you right now. So, so nice. And obviously all the Nike branding is so nice to see on the tongue and on the insole. The insole is white as we saw previously in the video. Uh, other than that, it's not much to talk about this shoe. This is a classic silhouette. Yeah. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop looking down. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe. Make sure to like the video. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and say peace. Till next time, love, happiness, and uh, make sure to hug someone. Actually, what I heard, I heard is like, if you hug someone six times in one day, if you hug six times in a day, uh, it makes you like happier or something. Do that. Hug someone. All right, peace. See ya.